Governor Inslee has activated the National Guard at the request of the mayor, and police say some people were still protesting until 1 o'clock this morning. Right now, John Hopperstadt is live for us in downtown Seattle, showing us the aftermath as the cleanup gets underway. John, good morning. Guys, the 5 o'clock curfew has come and gone this morning, so we're starting to see people uh, wander around the downtown area and kind of get an idea of the destruction here. If you see behind me here, these gentlemen, these are just neighbors, concerned neighbors. They're cleaning up. That is where a Seattle police cruiser was set on fire and destroyed yesterday during these riots. And so these neighbors came out, and you can see they're picking up the charred debris right now, trying to do some some cleanup here on their part and there's lots to be done. Take a look at the old Navy here. This is where they broke out the windows here, went inside and, and looted. A lot of folks showing up now that manage these places and uh, uh, they're taking a look at the damage done. But this is just one storefront like this. Pretty much all of the storefronts, if you go around the block, all of the windows are broken out. There's still a lot of glass on the ground. You can see glass there right on the sidewalk. We clean up is uh, just getting underway here this morning. So we're still looking at a lot of the damage here. Uh, and speaking with folks who live down here, they say actually the people who sparked this uh, violence did not seem to be part of the peaceful protest, but rather an organized group handing out weapons, spray paint, other things to do as much destruction as possible. Several injuries to police and civilians yesterday while this was going on down here. And I just spoke to a man who lives right around the corner from here and says he felt compelled to come down early this morning to begin cleaning up. And they weren't coming down here because they were concerned about racial equity. They were coming down here to hurt and destroy and damage people and people's stuff. And I mean, you've been around here for a minute. The Nordstrom family's done been nothing but good to our city. What did they do to deserve this? I, I don't get it. I don't get how this makes anything better. I spoke with the president of the Downtown Seattle Association as well. He says all the years of protests down here, May Day, what have you, we have seen uh, things get violent, but he says never to this extent, never this kind of damage down here in the downtown Seattle core. And he says it comes obviously at a very difficult time because most of these businesses have been closed the past couple of months because of the pandemic. Now they're looking at thousands of dollars worth of damage here. And again, this morning, the cleanup just getting underway, guys. Hop, thank you for that report. We'll check back in in about 30 minutes. Seven